Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam is a combo deck that uses the namesake card in combination with Angel's Grace or Phyrexian Unlife to draw the entire deck without losing the game due to life loss. The deck requires Phyrexian Unlife to be in play and 5 mana for Ad Nauseam plus whatever else you need to cast, or alternatively, 6 mana to cast Angel's Grace and then Ad Nauseam plus more mana if needed. Originally, the deck would win by drawing all its cards, then exile 3 Simeon Spirit Guides to pay for Lightning Storm, and since the entire deck was in hand, having enough lands to make Storm lethal was easy. The deck had the benefit of being able to win at instant speed, with the drawback of being a bit slower than other combo decks, usually only winning by turn 4. Pact of Negation acts as backup to protect whatever combo you're going for. However, the banning of Simeon Spirit Guide made this no longer possible, and the deck was forced to switch its win condition to Thassa's Oracle. Ad Nauseam and Spoils of the Vault can both find Oracle as well as exile your library to enable its trigger. This version also has a 3 card combo costing 4 mana in which you cast Oracle and respond to its trigger with Angel's Grace and then Spoils. However, Double Uno Reverse Card, the printing of an offer you can't refuse in New Capenna can possibly bring back the instant speed win. For this, you'll need 6-7 mana, again depending on whether you already have Phyrexian Unlife in play or need to cast Angel's Grace. First, draw the entire deck with Adnaz and cast any zero mana spell such as Pact of the Titan. You can then cast another one or respond to it with Pact of Negation. Still holding priority, spend your last mana on Offer, countering one of the spells and generating two treasures. With the first spell still in the stack, use one of the treasures to cast another Offer targeting it. You'll be left with three treasures, just enough to cast Lightning Storm. Whether Offer, Oracle, or a combination of both winds up being the optimal version is yet to be seen. Generally, the deck can be built in one of three ways. 1. A fast but fragile version, which uses Lotus Bloom and Pented Prism to ramp. 2. A middle-of-the-road version, which prioritizes consistency using tutors. Or 3. A control version, which plays interactive spells. I don't have much experience with the deck myself, but from what I've seen, the faster the better. Sideboarding and how to beat it. Ad Nauseam is an extremely streamlined combo deck and cannot afford to cut most of its pieces. In general, sideboard very little and bring in only what you need to beat hate cards and opposing strategies. Ad Nauseam is good against decks that can't interact with it, especially those with lots of creature removal. Its combo is mostly insusceptible to typical sideboard hate that targets graveyards, artifacts, or enchantments. Ad Nauseam struggles against decks that can win faster than it, as well as counter spells and hate pieces that do affect it since it has little interaction itself. Teferi Time Raveler is a nightmare card that must be dealt with since it stops you from casting cards off Suspend, winning at instant speed, or responding to Oracle's trigger. Tips and Tricks In general, don't exile your library before casting Oracle. Cast Oracle first and then, if it resolves, cast Spoils or Adnals in response to its trigger. As long as you have zero cards in your library, Oracle will win the game even if it's killed in response to its trigger. Oracle's win the game trigger can be disrupted by effects that put cards back in your library, notably Endurance. Angel's Grace prevents you from losing due to Pact Negation's trigger, In this way you can use Pact even if you don't have the mana to pay for it. If you're using Grace instead of Unlife to prevent losing to Adnaz, you need to win on the same turn, otherwise when you pass the turn you'll immediately lose due to being in the negative. You won't get poison counters from Phyrexian Unlife until after you've reached zero life meaning combat damage won't kill you even if it puts you in the negative, although this isn't the case if one of the creatures first strikes you to zero. In general, Unlife can act as a solid buffer against aggro since it basically gains you 10 life. If you activate Wishclaw Talisman, you should be prepared to win on the same turn, otherwise the opponent can tutor an answer with it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Ad Nauseam. I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community, for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.